Hello and welcome to Warping Brick. In this uh, video, I have to admit, it's a bit strange. And, uh, well, main focus, uh, it's the uh, first time I'm doing a crude mission in Rizm Overhaul. Obviously still in Sandbox here. But uh, we are now about to launch, and uh, as I get drowned out by the audio, I want to say, it's not the audio. As uh, the original audio, I didn't record it, I messed up my recording settings, but I don't know how I mentioned not record any audio. So, we have taken audio from a different launch of this mission, from a different take, and they related on to this, and it somewhat works, so after second stage separation it uh, cuts out, and so, yeah, I'm sorry about that, I'll definitely get that fixed for the next uh, video. Anyways, let's talk about the launch vehicle itself. We have six uh, Gem uh, 40, I believe, SRBs. He was on the Delta 4, I believe. Of course, I'm now putting myself on the spot for information I don't I don't have in front of me. I might be incorrect on that. The core stage is, for some reason, I, I keep using uh, Soviet or Russian engines. It's a RD-170. And uh, on the second stage, we have yet another Soviet engine, which uh, currently escapes me. And all this seems like a lot to launch just a simple Mercury capsule, and it is. However, there is uh, something more you're going to uh, see later on. Anyways, yeah, that uh, first stage is a very high thrust weight ratio, and so yeah, we have a very high apoapsis. And well, once we do second stage separation, we're flying completely horizontal, in fact, we're moving a pitch down a bit. And I also saw a launch escape tower press in. Yeah, you can... I think it's pretty obvious now that there is a cloud payload fairing lighting something additional below the capsule, which uh, should be revealed fairly soon now. And just comments on this overall. Actually, I thought like this was somewhat easier than previous uh, launches I've uh, done outside of this overhaul, since... Uh, also, yeah, you can now see that engine there. That's actually NK-19V. I mean, might be mistaken there. But yeah, we're just moving home. Most of, like, there's more stuff to account for. It also, I believe, has more tools for accounting for said things. And I just watched rush through that since you can now see we have a space, like, a small space station essentially. This was not intentional during building, but it ended up kind of being like an FGV type of vehicle. So yeah, we can uh, transfer our uh, pilot uh, from capsule into the uh, habitation module or uh, yeah just a bit of a it's not really uh, fitting with the era there with just modern computers in this and also mercury capsule we also have a cube plot to hopefully increase uh, the comfort meter and herbalism and uh, yeah for some reason in, in IVA mode there's this random black polygon that appears I've tried to fix it and I don't know how if anybody knows how to uh, resolve that, uh, please uh, tell me. Anyways, uh, we can now run experiments, and you can see we have 87 days of uh, consumables on this. Function is slightly lower since we're using for pressure control. And so this was idly a stay in orbit for, again, like 80 or so days. Still collecting science. Doesn't matter this is actually a sandbox. Yeah, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And goodbye!